And what the first passenger planes looked like? Well, one of them made around the time of the Great Depression made a stop right here in Bakersfield, and 23 ABC's Cassie Carlisle had a chance to take a ride. After getting gassed up and in gear, this Ford Trimotor roared into the air. Boy, I, I wouldn't have missed this for anything. Taking its passengers on a time warp. Looking at the inside of this door really kind of shows a little bit of the history of this plane. It was first created in 1929 as one of the pioneer passenger planes. It offers you a nice little glimpse into history and that makes it all the more special when you're able to fly in these things. It's not the only vintage plane to grace Meadowfield's runway. We've had the uh, Memphis Bell come in several times on several occasions. Uh, we've had World War II aircraft like the B-29 Super Fortress come in. The Ford Trimotor 4 ATE is visiting Bakersfield courtesy of the Experimental Aircraft Association. Just to have fun with airplanes, promote aviation, educate people about airplanes, educate youth about airplanes. The plane drew aviation lovers from all over. I've flown a lot of things. <laughs> Including the pilot of Spaceship One, Mike Melville. Uh, it's, this is really unique. I've never seen an airplane that had such slow controls. <laughs> to his surprise and the rest of the cabin, he took over the controls once we got up in the air. It was great. <laughs> It really was. I wasn't expecting to get to fly the airplane. Going from the first to pilot a passenger spaceship to flying yeah, one of the one first of the passenger planes in history. Cassie Carlisle, 23, ABC.